All I really remember is the, when the building fell. That was probably the craziest part. It's been one year since a devastating fire destroyed an historic building on Pittsburgh's south side. The smoke was so high, so thick, you could see it for miles. It forced small businesses and people who lived in the building out. Chris Hoffman is on the south side tonight with a look at how they're doing one year later. In a flash, lives were changed forever. A four alarm fire destroyed six apartments, the south side chamber of commerce, and Jay's master barber shop. I miss living down here. I miss the city. Justin Bono lived in the historic building for about 17 years. Over the past year, he found a new home, but the fire took away some things that can never be replaced. Photos were lost, um, you know, mementos, things from my childhood. Bono came by to lay flowers for his cat he lost that day. He was never able to learn if the cat made it or not. Some of the recovery was, was uh, quick, but some of the recovery, you know, in my heart isn't. Just down East Carson Street is the new location of the barber shop. It opened in the late spring after losing everything in the fire. I don't think the owner, I don't think any of the barbers here thought we were going to be able to be up and open as quick as we were. Barber Joshua Perone thanks the community and clientele for giving them a new home. He says they didn't know if they'd be able to reopen after that day. Having a strong team is what makes it possible. And the South Side Chamber of Commerce still works remotely. They don't have a new permanent home yet, but hope to find a location soon. The building's gone, but the chamber's still here, um, you know, and, and that's the important thing. And while all three are pushing ahead, there's a part of them that fire took away forever. It was still such a part of me. Living down here, living in this building was, uh, it was my home. As for the vacant lot, we asked Councilman Bruce Krause about it. He was not sure about any future plans. And that's exactly what's left is just a vacant lot sitting here at the corner of 11th Street as well as East Carson Street. Now, investigators did arrest 25 year old Christian Ross last May and charged him with arson, starting that blaze that took out the entire building. He is due in court again in March. We'll be sure to follow that and bring you the latest both on air and online. Live on the south side this evening, Chris Hoffman, KDKA News.